Hello guys. Today's topic is very, very interesting uh, for massage therapists. And if you are just, uh, you know, like taking massages, so it's going to be helpful for you too. You know, I've been a uh, massage therapist for a long time, and uh, I kind of, uh, after each massage, you know, people, when they get up out of the table, they're like, you know, they get up with pain. So the, I was like, how can you have pain after massage? Because I'm trying to help you, you know, you have back pain. But once they get up off the table, they have pain because um, they always lay down on the stomach. And uh, I was thinking, it's not that's not going to work, you know, because you're trying to help with certain, you know, issues like, especially if it's herniated disc or spinal stenosis or lumbar sacral syndrome, you know. Or just strained muscles so you you know you're working like whole hour in that area and then you know client gets up and he's in pain and it doesn't make sense because you've been working like for one hour and you know you feel disappointed because it's kind of all your energy went nowhere I mean you you just did everything uh, in vain I mean so I was like, no, I have to, I have to come up with something. Um, and then I just, uh, you know, I have this thing on my, uh, in my room. And this is a, um, as you know, this is the spinal vertebra. And uh, I was looking at this thing and I'm like, okay, here's nerves, and this is how he, the client lays down, and um, and then something struck me. I was like, okay, when you have a herniated disc, the herniation happens between the two vertebrae because this uh, this disc actually you know wears out and then it gets uh, distracted and um, degenerated at that time this uh, you know this joint goes um, kind of out of the line and then there's a there's nuclear, uh, you know, like jelly kind of consistency, uh, nuclear pulp in there, and then when it's when you bend over, you know, that thing pops out, and then when you uh, when you go back, you pinch that. Uh, well, it's it's hard to explain, so probably you know that. Um, but thing is, there's not about that. The thing is. You see the spine, when you bend over, those airs where nerves comes out actually expands. And the uh, nerves, when they uh, pinched, they kind of released. And you see, uh, that's why uh, people with uh, spinal stenosis, they always bend over. And then they usually, you know, hold a uh, walker or something like that. So, uh, but when you when they try to stand up straight, see what happens? This uh, processes transfers uh, They actually pinch these nerves. That's why when people lay down on stomach, you see what happens? They pinching. Look, look at that. Look at this. You see that? It pinches the, the all nerves. Of course, if they will lay down for like one hour, they will get up with pain. 
but when you go like this when you extend it it's see it's freed the nerves it's beautiful so and then I say okay problem solved what you do you just have your client on the site and then you you tell your client to bring knees up as much as he can and to bend as much as he can here the thoracic area and at that time nerves are perfectly free and when you do massage you nourish this nurse and you do excellent job on that and I'm telling you uh, this simple technique will give you thousands of clients and everybody will appreciate your work because it's so you know uh, super effective you can't even imagine and you will have so much money <laughs> tips I would guess and um, well this is the, the best technique and if you massage therapist you have to implement this technique and um, this is amazing it helps I mean it's it helps 100% and people they so thankful they they even you know don't get pills you know just after massage and uh, I had so so many clients after I implemented this technique so I would suggest you as massage therapist go ahead and implement this technique okay well thank you for watching and uh, please comment if you have any questions thank you